Creative Suite CS 5.5 Production Premium is our video suite of applications. And the two that I want to look at here today is After Effects and Audition. I want to show After Effects users how they can use Adobe Audition. And also, just a couple of tips for working with audio in After Effects. We get questions all the time from users on how do you hear things in After Effects and how do you scrub. So we'll take you through that. Um, I also want to show you Resource Central. You might not know there's an enormous amount of sound effects, loops, and cool stuff free to download. So let's get started. Okay. Here we are in After Effects, and I'm just going to play my little piece here. Okay, so what you're hearing is a mixed down file, which I'll show you how we made that in Audition, placed back inside After Effects. I wanted to show you this final version so you can hear how different it is from the original. Let's listen to the original. I'll simply go over to my left-hand side here, turn off the other track, and turn on the original audio uh, track that came with that video file. Now, we get some explosions in there. Most of them are completely clipping and overblown. They were never meant to be there as the real sound effect. They're meant to be replaced later on. Plus, it just sounds lame. I mean, you want big, majestic sound effects, ones that have been treated and recorded uh, correctly and professionally. You'll also notice that this green line is in here. That's uh, previewing to RAM, so I'm, I'm hitting the zero key on my numeric keypad, or you push the button up here in the top right-hand corner. After Effects is a little different than something like Premiere Pro, where anytime I hit the space bar, it's going to preview the audio. You need to preview the RAM first before you can hear the audio in After Effects. Um, and that's what we had happen here. I just hit that, preview to RAM, and then we play it back. If you want to scrub, you'll notice that as I'm moving my uh, marker, uh, of course, I can't hear audio. But if I hold down the Control key on Windows, Command on Mac, I can now scrub and play that back. And I could be scrubbing without using my, my uh, uh, key and then add that keyboard shortcut at any time. And I'm starting to scrub that audio. So a little thing that's uh, maybe not easy to, to, to figure out, but we've got it down there. Let me just delete this track. And we're going to take this out to Adobe Audition in the Edit menu edit in Adobe Audition. So I selected that particular track, and when I click on this, it's going to launch Adobe Audition and bring me in here. And the first thing you see is the uh, sound wave, and the video file is here also, but they're not playing together. It's really simple. We just need to make a new multi-track file. Select both of these, click on this button, insert into multi-track, a new multi-track session, and I'm going to Leave this at 48K, 16 bits uh, for our video. Uh, naming this just default there, click OK. And now we're into our multi-track and we have a video window over here. So when I hit play, we're now playing this back. Any changes I make right now will be saved inside the file in, in that's it's being replaced in After Effects. So they work hand in hand. But I'm going to create a new multi-track mix inside Audition. I want to replace every single one of those explosions with new explosions. And markers is a way that can help us do that. You can add markers on the fly. And if I just hit the asterisk key wherever I see an explosion, and so we'll just come along here, and you can you can Definitely see some of the sound waves in here. And if you're looking at the video over there, you see an explosion. So I can just press my uh, asterisk key on the numeric keypad, and I've added a marker. If we go to our markers, you can name them. So lots of really great ways to get this done. Uh, but I am going to open another project that already has the markers inside it. So there we go. Each one of these markers is now at a point where an explosion happens, either on the left side or on the right side. And uh, I'm going to drop in new tracks. So Window Menu, Resource Central. I've got this snapped over on the right-hand side. Resource Central connects to the cloud. So you've got to be connected to the internet because these thousands, literally thousands of files are up on the internet. So um, if I drag this out, you can see we have news, sound effects, loops, and music beds. 
Um, and these are all royalty free for you to download and use. Uh, I'm going to start by going to my uh, sound effects and we can actually uh, type explosion blast and it's going to find um, a number of these files already and we have a bunch of, of uh, different categories that you can go to but I'm, I'm going right to these uh, explosions. So if we click on the play button here much better. So right now we're playing that back from the cloud. That's not local yet. If I click on this little down arrow, it downloads it, has a little check mark here. Now I can drag this directly into my multi-track and there's my new explosion. So if I mute the original track that I have here and play this now, see if we get a really good sounding explosion. So that particular one, I'll use this maybe a couple times in here and we will bring in some other ones. So this one is, well, that one's good. Let's download that one, drop that in. So you're basically just uh, pulling these down, dropping them in place. Um, having those markers really helps. I'm hoping these are all going to sound good. I mean, they're blasts. So let me drag them in. Of course, I could uh, take care and, and work a little bit uh, closer on making sure that they sound different. And I think I'm missing one here. Let me take that one up there. And let me drag that one back there. Now I think I've got all of them. I could also take the time here and pay attention to where the explosions are happening. Remember, we've got full 5.1 mixing in here, or I could just use my uh, stereo mixing, and if I open up my tracks a little bit, I'm just using the scroll, uh, scroll wheel on my mouse over the left-hand section here and opening this up so you can see our pan controls. So if I've got an explosion that's happening over on the left, then I can pan that over to the left, pan them to the right, and pay attention to where those sounds are occurring. Okay, so that is uh, our explosions. Now I'm just going to jump into our loops and grab a couple of things inside here. And let's go to classical. And I want the one timpani cello zero two. Okay, so I'll download that drag that into here, into a new track. And this happens to be a loop. That means that if I right click and choose loop, you'll actually see a little loop icon show up inside there, a little badge. And now when I drag this out, it's gonna continue that loop out seamlessly. All right, and then we'll go to uh, my choir sound just to give it a little bit of a difference. Oh, let me just download that first and now drag that in and we'll play that back. Now that I've got my multi-track recording all set up, ready to go in Adobe Audition, CS 5.5, I need to create a stereo or a 5.1 file to go back to After Effects. I just wanna show you that if I wanted to get everything out as stems, separate files, you can do that in the multi-track menu, export to Adobe Premiere Pro, and in here I can export each stem separately or mix down uh, to a certain file. And that can open Adobe Premiere Pro together. But actually, we just want to get this out as a file that we're going to import into After Effects. So I'll do that by going to the File menu, Export, Multitrack Mix Down, Entire Session. And let's just put this um, in my drive right here. And we'll call that orchestra explosion. Save that. Uh, I'm going to change this to the same as before, uh, which was 
48. Click OK. Everything else seems to be wonderful. And click OK. And you can see how wicked fast this HPZ 800 is. It's just blazing fast. So let's go back to After Effects. And I'll import that file. So I can just choose File Import or double click in the bin. And I'll go out to my drive and find my orchestra explosion and open that file up. There it is. Drag it down. And notice the markers were kept in. So I had the choice to leave my markers in. That's each one of the explosion markers. Remember, I have to preview to RAM, so I click the preview to RAM button or hit the zero key on my numeric keypad. All right, that's how easy it is to take some of the files that you're working on inside After Effects, whether this is an animation or motion graphics or, in our case, uh, visual effects, and take this right back into Adobe Audition, create multi-track, export it back out, and be able to hear this properly. Adobe Audition is a great tool for anyone using either Premiere Pro or After Effects.